Hey everyone, this is Caleb Fall for Web Tools, and in this video, I'll be answering a question that a lot of people ask me. Kayla, why do my emails go into Gmail's promotions folder of my email recipients? Oftentimes, innocent email senders will make a few email etiquette errors in their email sending processes. So to protect those email recipients, Gmail will move the sender's emails into the promotions folders of some most or even sometimes all of their email recipients. However, every situation is different. There is not a 100% guaranteed way to always avoid Gmail's promotions folder. However, there are most definitely ways you can reduce the possibility of your emails ending up in your email recipients Gmail promotions folder. Gmail has over 500 different quality indicators that will decide how to sort each individual email that's received. And it will be different for every email recipient. Everything is based on each email recipient's preferences and the types of emails that they like to open. So just because one of your email recipients tells you that your emails have gone to their promotions folder doesn't mean that that's the case for every one of your email recipients. Every time your email recipients open an email from you, it tells Google that those emails being opened by your email recipients are trusted and important, but only to your email recipients on an individual basis. I've been asked, well, will getting a new email address fix this problem? The answer is no. If you change your email address, all of the brand recognition you built goes away and you have to start over. Instead of starting over, you can build a more trustworthy domain by asking your closest email recipients to whitelist you. And I'll talk more about that at the end of this video. Or another way to do your best to avoid Gmail's promotions folder is if your email recipients no longer wish to receive your emails, ask them to unsubscribe rather than pressing the Marcus spam link. If your email recipients unsubscribe rather than mark you as spam, it will keep your email sending reputation high and tell Gmail that your emails are more likely to be trusted. Some people have also asked me, well, when is the best time to send out an email blast? That also depends. Since you now know that when your email recipients click on your emails, it increases your chances of them ending up in their inboxes rather than their Gmail promotions folders. It will be a good idea to know when the best time is to email them to increase your chances of your emails being seen and clicked on. A great way to go about this is to know the tendencies of the industry or industries to which you market. For instance, if you're a business that caters to customers, you may want to schedule your emails to send during the weekend or out of office hours, because that may be a better time for your recipients to open your emails and you can increase your chances of getting clicks. Also, people who have a current job but may be looking for a different job will most likely be job searching outside of their work hours. If you are a business that caters to other businesses, you may want to consider scheduling your emails to send during regular business hours. So when sending out emails, be certain to avoid these five things. The first one is avoid too many spam words. Do not have spam words like sale, free, a specific percent off, deals, or discount in your emails, especially not in your subject line. You'll also want to be cautious about using all caps, dollar or percent signs, or excessive punctuation, like a lot of exclamation points. My tip to you is to write your emails as if you're writing to a friend. You can definitely utilize short codes to generate their first names to make them more personalized. And say things like, hey, name, I hope you are doing well. And I was just thinking about something you said the other day. Number two. Avoid too many images. Any email with more than one image looks like a promotion. Stick to emails that look like plain text, as if you sent it from a personal email. Definitely avoid a large email signature picture and stick to common, even an ordinary email signature. Number three, avoid using more than one link. You can use one link per email. This is not including the unsubscribe link. But remember that according to the Can Spam Act, in every email that you send, you must have instructions on how email recipients can opt out of receiving your emails, also known as the unsubscribe link. Number four, avoid sending from an impersonal email address. Always make the email from you, not your brand, and let your personality stand out. People buy from people, not machines. Be sure your audience knows your story and what you stand for. Keep your reply to address the same as the address in your sender field. For example, use your name at yourdomain.com rather than no reply at yourdomain.com. And number five, avoid the blacklist. As I said before, you can ask your email recipients in your welcome email to whitelist your email. As you can tell, whitelist is the opposite of blacklist. 
If one of your email recipients adds the email registered to your domain on their whitelist, your email is guaranteed to end up in the regular inbox. I'd highly suggest including instructions in your welcome email on how your email recipients can whitelist your email. They can drag your email from the promotions folder into their regular inbox folder, and a notification will pop up asking if they want all emails from this sender to be moved into the primary inbox, and they can click yes. And that's five tips to answer how you can best try to avoid your emails ending up in your email recipient's Gmail promotions folder. Can you think of a sixth? Or do you have any questions? Go ahead and comment below or send me a message. I can't wait to hear your input. Please go ahead and click the like and subscribe button so you can be notified when I post videos just like this one to help you manage your business. Again, my name is Kayla with All Pro Web Tools. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.